Okay. If you saw Fifty Shades of Grey tonight instead of Kingsman, you fucked up! Welcome back, motherfuckers! This is the review for Kingsman, the new movie directed by Matthew Vaughn. The stuff he's done so far has been very good. He's kind of becoming one of those directors where you go into his movie and you know you're going to see some well-directed action and some pretty cool characters and, and some ballsy plot twists. Okay, so here it is. Victor, how was the movie? The movie was fucking awesome. Yeah. This movie was a definition of awesome. Yeah, this movie it really surprised me because when I first saw the trailer, I thought it was going to be another one of these. One of those movies that's like based on a tween novel where they get like a teenager and they're like, oh, come to this secret society where teens do cool stuff, you know. Yeah. But then I saw that it was, you know, Matthew Vaughn. Yeah. And then I saw that it had a hard R rating and I was like, oh shit. This movie is adapted from a comic book called The Circuit Service, yeah. right? And it's a comic book written by Mark Miller, who also did Kick Ass yeah, and Wanted. Kick Ass and apparently, Wanted, yeah. Apparently, every comic he has made is becoming a major picture. And after watching this movie, I want Matthew Bond to make an adaptation of every comic Mark Miller has ever done, because this shit was awesome. Everyone in the movie did a really good job, you know, Colin, Colin Firth. Yeah, Colin Firth, it, yeah. it feels like, uh, like he, you know, he's been doing the whole Oscar thing for too yeah. long. Yeah. And it felt like in this movie, he was like, you know what, guys? Yeah, he finally, you know, kicked his shoes off and had some, some fun, you know. It felt like he wanted to show the people that he could also kick ass. He kicked major ass. There's one scene in this movie, it's like, you know, just five minutes of him just kicking people's asses and it is awesome. Taron Egerton, who is the main kid. Yeah, i never seen him in anything before, yeah, but he was amazing. Yeah, he, he was, was really good. He was really good, you know, because this, this is kind of a character that kind of, it kind of could have become really unlikable. It's a good character because he changes through the movie. That's what makes a good character. Yeah, and at the beginning... And he's he a good actor too, so... Yeah, he, and he isn't like just a super, like that's what I was afraid of when I first saw the trailer. He was going to be like a super douchebag at the beginning of the movie, but the, you know, at the beginning you can kind of see him like he doesn't want to get into fights with other people, you know, he because he, he knows his limits. Samuel L. Jackson Yeah, was, so, Samuel L. Jackson was awesome. He was, was like awesome. A, he was like an evil Steve Jobs in this movie, you know, he's like a big old uh, well like technology mogul, you know, genius guy and he talks with a lisp. The way he talks like that reminded me of classic Bond villains, like they always have like yeah, this yeah, one yeah. thing that make him. Uh, yeah, and then his, and then his little henchwoman, like she has like you know, her legs are kind of cut off below the knee, and she has like these blades that are also like her feet. She fights all crazy, and you know, it's 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 stuff like that. Like the movie, it doesn't really take itself that that seriously. It's, it's kind of like it, it's like old Brosnan James Bond shit, but good, but f f really good. Yeah, they, they yeah. even talk about it on the movie. Like it's a self-aware movie. There's a lot of references. Like the perfect way to describe this movie is Kingsman meets James Bond meets Men in Black, meets X Men First Class. I guess. Yeah. Because he has yeah. that look of X Men First Class, that yellow look. But yeah, it, has, all, it also has that over-the-top violence with combined with oh, crazy yeah. music that uh, Kick has introduced, you know, and it, it, this movie has balls because it does some things like yeah, yeah, I wasn't expecting it to go that far and yeah. it goes that far in the humor and also goes far in the violence, kind of like how Kick has did it, mm -hmm. but this time it's like James Bondy kind of stuff. There were a few of the supporting characters that are like going through the training where, you know, who gives a crap about them, like that girl kind of, well, like a love interest, but not really. I felt like they could have done more with her, and then like his little nemesis in the training, maybe they could have done more with him. Or he could have not even been in the movie and it would have been fine. I didn't know freaking Luke Skywalker was in this movie. Oh yeah, yeah. Like it was weird watching, because it's been so long since I've seen him in a movie. He yeah. was good, he's not in it very much, but he was funny. Yeah, it was, a, it was a nice little... He's doing his Joker cameo. voice the whole time. Yeah, little <laughs> English Joker voice. Yeah, it was it was refreshing to see him on screen, you know. Cause... Kind of getting us ready for December. Yeah. Hell yeah, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the action scenes were amazing. They like, were it was, Like I said, it was like kick -ass. They had this crazy music playing on. And you have all this frenetic action over the top, you know, people getting stabbed in the face, yeah. people getting their face burned, you know, <laughs> people getting impaled. I have no complaints with this movie. The only thing, it's, I'm warning you guys, this movie goes over the top. 
So yeah. if you're one of those sensitive people that get offended easily, because you can get offended by this movie, or, or you don't like that style, that, you know, that crazy, over-the-top, almost comic yeah, yeah, booky, yeah. super violence thing, then you're not gonna like this movie. But, I mean, but again, if, you don't, if you're like that, then you're a fucking pussy. Yeah, then fuck you. And fuck you, yeah. If you're a person who's alive, and, and your dick hasn't fallen off, you'll like this movie, all right? It's a Blu-ray. I'm gonna buy it on Blu-ray when it comes out. Yeah. Also, so, uh, to all you fucking guys out there who have a girlfriend and you're gonna probably end up watching, uh, what is it, Fifty Shades of Grey. Take your girlfriend to this movie, make her suffer a little bit, you know? Go watch the movie. Buy a ticket to this movie and then sneak in to Fifty Shades of Grey if you really wanna see it that bad. I'm gonna give this movie 4.6 Big Macs. Because you have to watch the movie to understand. Yeah. As always, you know, hope you enjoyed the review. This is Victor and Jose, reinventing the real. We'll see you guys next time.